iPhone has asked, is it wrong to do a facial on the Sabbath? To do a facial on the Sabbath? A All facial. Right. Now, yes, a facial. I understand the question. Right, let me answer that with, with a question. Uh, did the Jews make many laws about what was permissible on the Sabbath and what was not permissible on the Sabbath? The answer is absolutely. That is what they did. So they went and they made laws uh, so stringent that the Sabbath became a tremendous burden. Now, the Bible has only a very few criteria when it comes to the Sabbath. Number one, you must not neglect the assembly of the saints where possible. Number two, you must call the Sabbath a delight. You must delight yourself in the presence of the Lord. Uh, then there's the criterion of you should not be doing your own thing. And of course, you shouldn't buy or sell or do business transactions or any of those. You must rest in the completed works of God on the Sabbath. And uh, when you go beyond that, it becomes very hard to say that there's very much more written on it. And uh, according to the Jews, Jesus was the greatest Sabbath breaker that they had seen. <laughs> <laughs> and they were incredibly incensed at what he did, but he never, ever broke the Sabbath. He only broke their traditions. He made them null and void. So is it right to go bird watching on a Sabbath? All right. Is it right to go fish watching on a Sabbath? So if you put on a snorkel and you put your face into the water and you're watching fish, is that worse than uh, watching birds where you are not putting on a snorkel <laughs> and looking at the fish? These are questions that you have to uh, resolve with your relationship with God and determine whether what you are doing is your own thing, whether what you are doing, for example, if you're going to go to, if you want to make yourself presentable to go to the Sabbath and to be with God's people and to represent uh, Christ in your presence with God's people, uh, are you going to make sure that you are neatly dressed? Are you going to make sure that you are uh, hygienically nice and cleansed? Are you going to do any of those things? And how much of that is permissible before you can say you are uh, keeping the Sabbath or breaking the Sabbath? That's a very personal thing. So if a facial means cleaning your face in order to make yourself presentable to God, then how far you go along with that is something that you decide together with your God. If you're deciding, okay, I'm going to have a full facial and I'm going to have a manicure and I'm going to go to a person who does this for me and expend a lot of money on that, well, then I think there are other days on which you could do it. But I'm not going to be a Talmud to tell you how far you are going to go down that road with God. That is between you and God. Amen. What a powerful answer, Dr. Fight. And what is so interesting is how both you and Elder Skeet referred back to the motive. Like, are we doing this for our own selves or are we doing this to glorify God? So that's one thing that we have to keep in mind.